News 19 is always your local election headquarters and one North Alabama lawmaker says voting yes on statewide amendment one would benefit students in Franklin County. News 19 state capital reporter Ryan Hall breaks down the measure. Statewide Amendment 1 will appear on ballots across Alabama on November 5th. Representative Jamie Keel of Russellville sponsored the amendment during the legislative session earlier this year. He tells me what you need to know before hitting the ballot box. Well, I think the golden rule applies here, doing to others as you'd have them do unto you. And so uh, I would hope that if something like this happened in Mobile County or another part of the state, that they would give us the same consideration. And that consideration has to do with land owned by the Franklin County School System in Walker County. They cannot sell it because it is managed by the Alabama Department of Conservation. Amendment 1 would allow them to sell and lease the land, making money for their schools. Yeah, well, the local school board uh, will, will definitely benefit with the COVID money that's uh, this fixing to play out and a lot of capital needs. It's a rural, uh, poor school system that could really use the revenue. Barry Moore, chairman of the Franklin County Commission, agrees. I mean, this couldn't come to a better time than it is right now. Uh, of course, you know, there's many needs in the classrooms, building and maintenance, transportation issues with the school system. So this money would be greatly impacted and greatly used here in the county. Representative Keel says there's just trees on that land right now. He explains that would be a great spot for rest stop or restaurants similar to the rest of the I-22 corridor. In Montgomery, Ryan Hall, News 19.